Hey y'all, it's Natalie and I'm here with Spiegel Mom Scraps layout today. I am using the awesome Fab Foil from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. So you can see it's this really cool metallic, almost, I mean, it is a little bit metal. I mean, it's an interesting, it's foil. <laughs> That's what it is it's foil it's the texture of it and so it's like adhesive on one side and it has a paper backing and so you can see my reflection which is super fun <laughs> i am going to cut this piece it's um it comes on a roll and um it's six inches wide across and i'm going to cut it to fit inside of this um dry embossing folder and this folder is from Alta New. It's a, a really nice leaf print. And I'm gonna run it through my Sizzix Big Shot. I'm making sure that the raised bit will be on the foil side, on the gold side. And you can see I then ran it through with my alphas. And so you can see an embossed image and then I die cut the alphas. And so that's gonna be my title. I'm using this photo of myself and my husband's side of the family um, on our cruise. And so the title is going to be Glam Fam because we were dressed up for our like night out to go to a nice dinner or whatever. And um, I wanted to cut it down to a more like four by four size pretty much. And so I'm just going to reuse the top where it already had the white border to keep the white border. Um, so I just like maybe kind of just like did a tummy tuck on it. <laughs> so um, just know when... <laughs> I'm sorry, I layered a bunch of papers and then I did um, realize I wasn't filming, so sorry about that. Um, when you do dry embossing on a foil or any paper really, and then you run it back through your machine to die cut the alphas, you will lose a little bit of your raised embossing, right? So I did lose a little bit of the detail because you're essentially like smushing it back down. So you could die cut the letters and then run them through um, the machine the, uh, the opposite way like do the um, dry embossing after you cut the letters and then you might get a more detailed embossing image which is um, something to consider so these papers are from memory box I think um, I think that background paper might be like a Echo Park paper um, but they're from an old kid I had that were kind of like a purpley like glam vibe and so I thought that they went really well with the photo um, and now I'm just going through my stash and kind of pulling out some things so I have that one tag on the left is from 49 market I have these really old florals that are from my stash but they are like white and they have gold embellishments and they have like little gold beads in the middle um now i'm going to commit to the title so i'm going to put it on the top and the bottom and then like i said these alphas are i'm sorry this fab foil is um adhesive backed so that's really fun and so i'm just being really gently gentle pulling off the backing so i don't like tear the alpha at all and then i'm gonna just like stick it down there um you could also put it on some other die cuts so you could have used that same die to cut out some um uh what do you call it some cardstock and like make it thicker right so you could like pile it up and then stick the um alpha on top of that so um i did die cut that little wreath on the side i think i don't even know what that die cut is from like maybe pebbles i don't know um but it's a it's a gold foil so i thought it went really nicely and so then these are really old like maggie holmes um die cut really pretty floral bits and so i'm going to use the leaves and everything to kind of stick out from underneath my white flowers so i also you can see since i accidentally didn't film the building of the layers you can see that one of the layers behind the photo is um the die cut layer i'm sorry no it's the fab foil layer i can't talk today it's the fab foil i'm going to take off this little string on the um tag and i'm going to retie it in a bow but the fab foil layer i just um took a big piece of um, cardstock and then I ripped off the edges to make them um, a little distressed to kind of go with the other types of paper and then I just put the fab foil on top and adhesive and then I just kind of cut around where I had already ripped it because your fab foil isn't going to rip like um, paper does and so I just cut around the ripped paper and it gave the same effect and so I have like a distressed edged foil piece which is cool um what am I doing down here 
I am sticking down the rest of my outfits. And so I'm really happy with how this page came together and it came together so quickly. Um, so you can see I have some foil stickers from my stash up in the top right. I love my Spiegel Mom scrap sales because I feel like it makes me dive into my stash more, which I need to use, right? I'm not trying to use just like brand new products. I'm just like using what I have on hand that match my photos and everything. Um, so what are we doing? I'm just sticking more florals and then I think I'm using, I am using pop-up dots foam tape. I'll link all of these things down below with my affiliate link if you would like to buy them from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. And um, I am adding additional Nuva adhesive behind these little Maggie Holmes pieces because we don't want them to eventually fall off. And I have a few of, a few different purple sequins I have pulled out of my stash to try to use on the page but um i obviously end up going with the one called fancy pants because it has a bunch of gold sequins in it along with the purple sequins and it just was the first once i got them all out next to my layout i'm like oh these are definitely it like i didn't even have to think twice so they have some really big purple ones and so i tend to like to use the really large ones and tuck them under so um you'll see me kind of tucking the really large ones under the florals so they just kind of peek out and then i use the smaller ones to just kind of create a little stardust effect around the larger sequins and so i'm just going to basically add these around all of the embellishment clusters around the photo and we're going to call it a layout so i will link down below with all the products that are available in the spiegel mom scrap store if you are interested in um the foam tape the fab foil which is fab of course um if the sequins are still available i'll let you know but i'll try to find a purple one that is similar to it if they are no longer available but this collection that i choose today is called fancy pants um let me know if you have any questions and i'd love it if you'd like and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching bye y'all